So uh, I wanted to ask a question, uh, especially here at the Guggenheim. Why do we come to art museums and only bask in the creativity of those whose art we're looking at? So at local projects, we have this as a mantra, and we're working on a mission to make the world more interesting as we interpret it and hear its stories. This is an engagement I'm going to share with you for the Cleveland Museum of Art. It opens in December, so you can see all these mock-ups and ideas that we're working on. And they engaged us to think about new ways for people to be creative within the visitor experience inside the museum itself. And so this is one interface we designed where the screens are actually inside of traditional galleries. Uh, Cleveland Museum of Art is much like the Met. It's a traditional uh, space in terms of an encyclopedic collection. And within these, it's really important that you're actually looking directly at the artworks themselves. So these aren't interfaces that are taking you away from the artworks. They're actually allowing you to dive deeper into it. And for the first time, they're allowing you to hear stories directly about the artworks themselves. This is my favorite, where you can actually melt away the background and see the original context for this artwork. So many uh, art museums are so without context. And in this case, not only can you learn more about the artworks, you yourself can be creative. So in this case, you can actually create your own sculpture using different pieces of software. You can learn about the process, the different tools themselves. You can understand more about the artworks that are in front of you by being creative yourself. This is showing you how you can strip away the different layers within temper. There's a very specific technique to these mediev medieval paintings. In this case, you're jumping into the Perseus myth, which is encapsulated that medieval artwork, and understanding how that myth was told throughout time. You see the different chapters for, from within the tapestry. And then you yourself can take those individual chapters and remix them into your own comic book version. So you understand this cycle of stories that get told over and over again. In this case, you start to put your body itself into the actual experience. All of these open with these quotes from different prominent artists. So in this case, August Rodin talks about how the human figure itself is expressive. But you don't just get to hear about that. You get to experience it. What you do is you're choosing from different artworks from within the collection itself. And then you yourself are able to actually match those gestures. And this is actually within the gallery itself. I have some shots of the actual installation in a second. So you can actually make that actual gesture. And then you can share that with yourself and also with other people from within the museum. And so we're just in the middle of installation. But this is actually what it looks like inside the galleries itself. So you can see there's a, there's a Roman bust on the left-hand side, the Hanawa, from Japan in the third century AD in, a, in an original Rodin. This is using actual face detection, so it's collection, connecting your face. So for example, you can make a scary face, right? And then it'll actually search the collection from the museum <laughs> and bring forth these individual works of art yourself. So you're making this incredibly primal connection with the artworks themselves, and of course, that also can be shared and made from within the museum. And all this happens within these very, very traditional galleries. Now at the end of the experience, we have this uh, piece called the collections walls. It's 40 feet wide, and the goal was to get access to literally every single work of art inside the museum all at the same time. So what you're seeing here is all of them put together in chronological order, each individual artwork themselves and different connections between the pieces, but then subsets. So this is landscapes, and this is showing you literally the history of how humans understand space and are able to actually compel that. Love and lust, so human sexuality. People have been thinking and creating works on this for centuries. And you can actually see the evolution from within, or just portraits, how the human face itself has been shown to other humans. And they're all created at eye level and in full scale. So this is what it looks like uh, as an actual experience itself. It's constantly cycling through these different themes. It's going from the full collection into these subsets that tell these individual stories themselves. And you can actually click on any individual one and open it up, and it'll create a collection for you. And then it sort of becomes a curiosity machine where you're able to jump from artwork to artwork and choose your favorites. And I'll show you in a second, but you can use an iPad to navigate the museum itself with your own collections. So this is actually a video I took last week uh, from the gallery itself, which is still an installation. But you can see how, for example, this moves from the full collection into Horizon, which is a group of artworks that actually take all these landscapes and put them into a single image by connecting together the individual Horizon lines themselves. And up close, you can still navigate the individual collections and connect them together to make your own tour, which you use on an iPad. They also have an image recognition on the iPads themselves. You can see that's a demo we made last year that's actually reading the painting and connecting it with individual assets or stories. So this is literally like a curator standing next to you and pointing to the painting for yourself. You can connect with 
all the different artworks. You can take a tour from curators or make your own. Or most of all, you can make your own favorites and share those. So the museum becomes a social space. And this is the last interface I'll show. This is actually a partnership with Zach Lieberman. And again, about creativity, you're actually doing drawings here and then connecting it through individual artworks from the collection itself. So at its whole, at its heart, this is reinventing the art museum so that you yourself can be creative as you enjoy the collection itself. Thank you very much.